Now a 12 News exclusive. We're hearing from Rhode Island Senator Jack Reed for the first time since President Biden announced the U.S. will soon withdraw all troops from Afghanistan. Now that Senator Reed is chairman of the powerful Armed Services Committee, his reaction is being closely watched in Washington. 12 News Politics Editor Ted Nisi spoke one-on-one -on -one with the senator today and joins us now live in studio with the exclusive details. Ted. Well, Mike, for years, Senator Reid has been warning that a hasty withdrawal from Afghanistan could have dire consequences. But today he told me he sees the president's decision as the best of bad options. Nearly 20 years after President Bush announced the start of the U.S. war in Afghanistan, President Biden stood in the same room of the White House to announce its end. I'm now the fourth United States president to preside over American troop presence in Afghanistan. I will not pass this responsibility onto a fifth. Yes or no, do you support withdrawing American troops from Afghanistan by September 11th? Uh, I think the president made probably the hottest decision of his uh, maybe entire tenure. You didn't say yes there, and uh, you're being no, I, I, I think the decision was of the choices uh, appropriate. Jack Reed was only a freshman senator when the war began. The Taliban as a military force has been shattered. He's now in his fourth term and leader of the Armed Services Committee. For, for 20 years, we've been trying to build a credible Afghan military force. We've not been able to do that. And that's over multiple administrations, both Republican and Democrat. For 20 years, we've been trying to build a credible... Just, I have to pause you there, Senator Reed. That That feels like a huge... As someone who was in high school when this war began, that feels like a huge failure. That is, a, uh, yes, I think there's no other way to characterize it. Still, Reed says he remains deeply concerned about what happens next. And my fear is, okay, Rada, let's go, that's history. We, it's a transition because there are still threats to the United States in that region. Senator Reid has visited Afghanistan 18 times since the war began in 2002. He says he expects to return to the country again at some point in the future. Ted Nisi, 12 News.